better. I don't know. I don't know how people use these ring lights. Well, I know how they use the ring lights. They don't have glasses. <clears throat> hey, it's Beth back from the bungalow. I think this is my fur fourth. This is my fourth video. Um, and I'm going to start talking about that pretty soon. So, hey, um, today, how about imposter syndrome, huh? So what my channel is so far is I take a topic and I talk about it for five minutes. It's been unplanned and unscripted, but I'm hearing a lot of so's and ums and trail offs. So I have to try to stick to the topic <clears throat> and it's imposter syndrome. So if those of you don't know, I'm sure you do. Imposter syndrome is big. It's been around for a while. Um, it's basically when you feel like you can't do something because of reasons that aren't really there. Like my FOMO. Like everyone's done it. I don't have any original ideas. I'm not going to succeed. Someone's going to do it better. Um, that sort of thing. So since I hate without further ado, because I don't know, I just do. Without further delay. Computer. Give me five minute timer. Five minutes, starting now. So I've had imposter syndrome for as long as I can remember since I've started doing things. Like entrepreneurial things or like big things. Um, I talked a lot about it during my FOMO five minutes, um, how I've been trying to start blogs and such since 2009. And almost immediately, I'm like, I started, they, they tell you to research your competition. And I did. And I've noticed how big people's sites were. They had communities, they had sign-ins, they had forms they had everything and I was just starting from scratch and it just it seemed overwhelming so I didn't intentionally quit but I stopped doing it um same thing with this channel probably I, I don't see the, the one thing I really wanted that I knew I could do that I was so close to getting was my job was my promotion so that kind of takes a little wind out of your imposter syndrome sales or puts more in actually because imposter syndrome is imposter syndrome is it's not a good thing it keeps you from doing these big things that you're capable of that you want to do that you know you can do I should be able to stay consistent with things right now I have a open schedule um, I have responsibilities but <sighs> people don't count on me from day to day to do stuff other than my family and even if I don't do stuff from day to day, the world still turns. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't feel, finishing books, that's why a lot of, you know, finishing books, that's why a lot of authors and writers never finish their books or their novels. It's a big thing in the writer community. Um, but it's imposter syndrome. It, are people going to like this? It really blocks a lot of what a lot of people do. And people sometimes don't even realize that they have imposter syndrome. They just believe that they're not good enough. But they are because your brain kind of wants to protect itself. And it's if it's seen you do something this big and something's going to maybe you're afraid of success. You know, what's success look for? Are you going to be able to stop is it going to be everything you wanted or are you going to be missing out on something? Are you going to, hey, I'm at the top. This is it. This is what I want to do. But then nothing. And then it's like, well, what else do I do now? I've already done this. Or I'm, I've reached the top of my goal. What to do now? What to, what to move on to? Do you have imposter syndrome? Does what I say sound like you? Maybe. Am I alone? Comment below just so I, what does your imposter syndrome look like? I just start projects and is imposter syndrome making big choices and like buying thing? No, I don't think like purchases is an imposter syndrome thing. I think it's projects, big projects. I don't know. Maybe it's a remodel and you're delaying the remodel because you don't think you're going to get it right. It's just something that infiltrates on your ideas that just stops them. For me, it can be my uh, 
my borderline personality disorder um, because I can see two sides of everything all the time right away immediately and oftentimes it's you know I'm arguing with myself and people don't think that I have an opinion when actually I just I see the reality of a lot of different angles that's not imposter syndrome I shouldn't have brought that up during my imposter syndrome five minutes so imposter syndrome right now I probably have five books from FOMO I'll probably put the link down below or maybe I'll put a card up right there um you know you click to see the actual like video so yeah imposter syndrome you know, there's whole books on imposter syndrome but me talking about it for five minutes maybe because it's so close and dear to my heart that I do know that it stops me from finishing my books from being consistent on my blogs it's it's only gotten harder since I missed out and I wasn't uh afforded the promotion like like I should have been uh yeah I could have done that job I wanted that job I wanted that job so bad and I knew I could do it so now I have to overcome the idea that I couldn't do something that I really wanted to do I know I can go back and do it but I'm I'm old I guess we'll end on my I'm old not my mold. I'm computer cancel. I'm not mold. I'm old, but I'm not really that old. I'm just, I just, I'm old in that industry. I really am. Um, and my name's kind of out there. So I don't know how fruitful my industry career would be by now. So that's, <clears throat> that's imposter syndrome um sorry if I didn't go deep enough into it I'm still trying to get back into this and over editing and overthinking and over scripting and, and cuts and retakes I just don't want to fuss with that anymore maybe that's imposter syndrome I don't want to make it perfect right so people don't watch me <laughs> yeah used to I used to try for a long time I would try to get into it I would try to post every day or change something every day or bring attention to myself twitter facebook instagram pinterest i put it all out there in fact at one time i had a a tiktok account until i didn't because of a lot of reasons a lot of reasons anyways so thank you for watching me for uh eight minutes and um i have a couple of other <laughs> have a couple of other uh topics uh, that we're going to be covering. I'm going to be covering later. Being late. I have a hard time driving. Looking for a job. Do you ever like try to book a vacation. And you just can't put. I will see you next time on my next five minutes. Have a good today. What was it? Have a good rest of today. And a great tomorrow. I'll get something consistent soon. Bye y'all.